if somebody were to, if you were facing somebody, okay, and they were coming at you straight forward, maybe a punch or whatever, there's a lot of ways to block and counter and a lot of things you can do. There's a very simple thing that you can do, though, which is, um, which uses a lot of principles of physics that would be very effective. Let's say we're you know, facing off with each other. She's just going to lunge at me or punch at me or whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your left foot forward. You're going to put your right hand out. You're going to put your left hand on top of it and create um, what, I, what I'm calling a triangular wedge. Okay. Now the idea is that you it, it's, it's all well and good to hit with one hand or hit with the other hand. Okay. But if you're, particularly if you're facing somebody a lot bigger than you are, you need structure in your technique, and you want all your weight behind it. Okay, so rather than you know relying on my muscular strength or my speed, if it's a sheer you know head-to-head -head kind of a thing, I want all my weight forward. Now, actually, the target you would be going for might be somewhere on the face. As you're drawing back, you could break down on the eyes. Um, you could go for the throat. You could go for the chest if you just wanted to knock the person back. So, what we're going to be simulating on the back is if she comes straight forward toward me, I'm just face masking her basically with these hands before she gets the opportunity to swing, to hit, to grab me, or anything. I'm just going to lunge forward with my body, bang! And so we're simulating that type of move. Now, you're going to do it on the, on the back. Okay, turn and face me this way. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're gonna get, we're going to get partners. And all you're going to do is pull that tight against your chest so that they don't get slapped. All you're going to do is very gently and lightly, you're going to lunge forward here. Very soft for now. Okay? You're going to come here, you're going to create your structured tool, and you're going to step forward like that. Okay? And that's it. Everybody get a partner. Anybody you like, get your partner. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold here. And you're going to launch forward with your knee into their groin. Now I'm going to simulate this, but you'll be doing it full power on the back. It'll be, it'll be here. Bang. Okay. So the striking surface is this entire thigh area of your leg. Okay. It's not just the point of your knee or not just your hip. It's this whole piece right here. So if she comes in for the lunge, I'm going to face mask her. Boom. She's going to twist her head back. I'm going to come around here, and I'm going to even step forward a little more and hit. I'll hit her real gentle. Bang. Okay, the leg. Now, where's Tuesday? Okay, give up. So here's what you'll be doing with your partner. You'll be here. Okay, I'm not going to hit you. And then here. Okay, just make sure that you hit with your entire thigh. Okay, so it'll be real relaxed, I'm telling you. One, here. Two. Okay. Okay. Switch back. Come out and stand on the wood all in one line for the man. Now here's what we're gonna do. Now you're gonna use your voice. Okay. So. Why can't he go to bed? So you're gonna say no when you hit. So you're gonna hit hard. You're gonna yell no. So it'll be here. No. And then you'll put it in your knee. No! Right? But the, but the thing is, is you're not going to be out here alone. Everybody's going to yell no at the same time. So that the person who's out here won't feel real self-conscious about it. Okay? So again, you're going to come out. I'm going to let you hit it a couple times soft, a couple times hard. Then I'm going to go, okay, voices. And everybody, when the hands hit, you'll yell no. When the knee hits, you'll yell no. Okay? Ready? So it'll be just like this. You don't have to yell. Just watch. This is your technique here. It'll be... No! No! Like that. We're going to work, we're going to work just the basic wrist grab. So you face your partner, same way. I want one person facing this way and one person facing this way. Okay, good. Now, just, um, just so you know, come here. There's a, there's a few techniques that we teach for a wrist grab, okay? The basic concept is you want to get your wrist out of the weakest place um, on my hand, which is between these fingers. So if I grab her like this, with my hand down, what she needs to do is she needs to rotate my hand into this position where I'm weak and just pull that arm right out. Okay, that's the basic concept. 
and behind getting your wrist out of her grab. Okay. Now if she grabs my wrist anyway, okay, there's the hole. That's the way I want to go. That's the basic concept that you need to understand. Grab me anyway. Anyway, okay, there's the hole, that's where I want to go. Grab me anyway. There's the hole. That's where I want to go. Grab me anyway. Okay. Turn them up. Two hands, okay, thumbs are still on top. I may need to reach in there and grab my own hand. Get out. Alright, so just for a moment, work with your partner on that concept. And then I'll teach you some martial arts techniques. Go ahead. Self-defense application is just pull them out, pop them <coughs> out. Okay. So we're gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna teach you martial arts techniques. So if she grabs me, I'm gonna just pull them out. Pop the eyes, okay? You're gonna pop the eyes with something that looks like this. Get to the thumb, get the fingers wrapped around it. Makes a nice hard, makes, makes a nice hard little week. Okay, just like what we did at Impact. She grabs my wrists. I'm just gonna draw them up here and pop her eyes here. That's your self-defense move. The next step is to escape, not to continue punishing her for attacking you, but to leave, leave the situation. Okay, which is the ultimate goal is to escape intact without having to hurt that. So get your partner, get your partner, now the bats, ready, reset, grab, raise them up, pop the eyes, Good. reset, grab, raise them up, pop the eyes, other side, ready, <laughs> grab, release, one, <laughs> pull your foot into the center and bring your elbows into your body, okay, pull the foot in, bring the elbows to the body. Two, step forward with your body. Now what this does is my elbows are behind my body, so this structures the release here. Now I'm real close to her, so I can pop the eyes, or I can pop the ears, or I can just here, okay? Go for the eyes for now, okay? But when she grabs, you're gonna go. Now if it was self-defense, you might just have time to ah, and run. Martial arts, she grabs, I'm gonna pull the foot in, structure the elbows behind my body, Step forward, which pops them off. And I'm gonna get your partner. <laughs> she grabs my throat. So defense. Okay. There's two places. At least there's two places on a man that can't be conditioned. The eyes, which constitute one place. Whether there are two, three, one, and the groin. On a man, those two places cannot normally be conditioned to take any amount of force. So when she chokes me, whack, there's your self-defense move right away. Anything that happens to you, find the eyes, gouge them, get them off you, escape. Anything, okay? If you can't find the eyes, find the groin. If you can't find the eyes in the groin, make a sensitive place by biting them. Eyes okay? equal groin. Eyes, groin, or bite. Now, when you bite somebody, you're going to nip them. With your teeth. Not a big punk bite, but nipping. Now you're when talking you, about other places. When you, when you nip somebody, <laughs> if, if you can't get their eyes and you can't get their groin, then you're going to nip them wherever you can find some, some skin. You don't have to make Ow. them bleed. You don't have to cut them. You nip with your teeth, which will freak most people out because your goal is to escape. Having said that, oh, here, here, here are two martial arts techniques you can use for children. She grabs. One. Arms up. Two, drop the weight. Now, if she bends over like that, I'm not going to do an eye strike. Go ahead, back down. Three, I'm going to tee off on her head with my. Oh. Adios. Okay, if she doesn't go down the hallway, then the thought. Now, the reason we do everything slowly when we're working with a partner is because doing it fast and pulling it like this. <laughs> creates a bad habit in me. And that bad habit is, is that I come out with a powerful punch and then I pull it and stop the energy from floating forward. You don't want to do that because that's a bad habit. So if I'm practicing anything with a live partner, it's going to be soft, supple, fluid, and relaxed. Okay? So that I don't condition my body to be pulling back against my punch. When we're going to go hard is when we're hitting focus fits or shields. So when you do these releases, grab me, 
Can you please stop? Can Yes, don't go on this job protection. Okay. So we raise the arms. Drop the body weight. Hey, she said it first. Drop the body weight. Pop the eyes. And then tee off on the right. It's your partner. Okay, first you go. If the person's really big, how am I going to get my arms up? So if it's like, you know, him. Come here. Please. Okay. Now, he grabs me. Now, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? I mean, you know, I could probably hang up his arms and drop all my weight, and he might be able to hold me up. Okay, maybe I won't do it so we can lower that weight. But if we, this is more likely what you're going to be facing, okay? Is a bigger person bothering you. All right, so he's, he's got a large enough frame that I could actually do this. All right? <laughs> Okay, but just remember, you, you want to work with all different partners so you can figure out different strategies. Because let me tell you, the response to something coming in your eyes is to pull your hands back and block it or whatever. Now you might be quick enough that he doesn't see it. Okay, but if he does, that's fine because he'll let us just say he sees it and pulls his hands off. Okay. Takes his hands off to his eyes to protect his eyes. Instead of coming up and dropping down here, this is ridiculous. Okay? Now, I'm coming down and he's going to do this to me, this to me now. Not good. Okay, what could you do to me? Just from our other position, what could you do to me in this position? Good. Slowly. Right. Okay, look, he's got, he's got a whole plan of action here for me because of the position that I put myself in. Now, here's an alternative response. He grabs, I come up. In the center here. This. Now, his arms are up. I've got my chance now to swing in with this. Okay? And now, and with a person this big, okay, I do have his groin, but I might not take it. I might choose to just leave. Okay? Just because every moment I spend here, I'm in danger. Okay? And I'm, te I'm teaching you the no, are you taping? I'm yeah. teaching you the no BS, you know, version of martial arts and self-defense, which is the, the less time I spend in his zone, the safer I am, because maybe he has knives in his mind. Okay? And as soon as I'm in here fooling around with him trying to use martial arts, I got a brand new hole that I don't need. Okay? Which is bad for me. Okay? Because I can bleed out in a couple minutes and be dead. Bad. So if he grabs me, my real goal is to escape. Escape. Escape, escape. Unlike many other martial arts that teach you to hang around and fight, it is not cowardly to escape and live. Okay? But the technique will be one structured wedge technique, two pop the eyes, three key off on the floor. Thank you, sir. See you later, Michael. Good night, Michael.